Hey guys, it's Bear. Um, back with another video. Uh, good news today. The lockdown seems to be ending in a day and a bit. And then 8th of November, which is like two weeks away. Uh, it should be fully gone. There's like, yeah. Which is good. So basically my plans, because basically what's happened is I've just been living basically the same day uh, over and over again. Which I've kind of enjoyed. It's it's made me progress a lot, um, and I guess I should update a little on how that one day that I'm repeating over and over again is going. So, as I've said before, like my main goal has been, you know, making a short film. What I was trying to do was I was trying to go through and learn about you know phenomenology and being and how p personalities work which is just a complex way of saying story is basically how a character moves through the world in a way that is um relevant to the person watching it which is a very broad way of saying so to understand that you got to understand character and so i was sort of trying to understand character through understanding psychology and then working my way up from like the base fundamentals of psychology which they aren't really because you can't break down consciousness or we haven't yet been able to break down consciousness into like ones and zeros but you know there's some fundamentals and I was trying to build up from them to see if I could create a story out of them um, I, I didn't explain it properly but you get the, the gist um, and so Basically, why I was doing that is I have story ideas that I really want to make, but they're just, you know, I can't, they're just very expensive, you know, um, and so I was trying to find something that was maybe a one or two person conflict in, like, one room, so I could, like, probably make it, so then I could probably spend on, um, cameras like, I could spend lots more on cameras and lighting and, um, you know, to make it look professional sound and everything. Because everything else would be so cheap, so I could have, like, a $5,000, you know, seven-minute short or something. I don't know the exact figures, but, like, that's what I was aiming for, and, like, I can do that, you know. Um, but I just could not come up with anything entertaining and I was just like I have these these stories ideas of like short films that I really want to that like really inspire me I really love working on them but they're really expensive and I can't and so I was just like but I, I couldn't figure out a story with such limitations so I was just like stuff it I'm going to work on the you know, expensive story and just see where I get. Um, my main problem in the past with it was because of the expensive story, I was just like, I got to do everything myself. I got to learn how to create a costume for it. I got to learn how to do the lighting. Got to learn how to do all these different elements. And it's sort of like saying, oh, I'm going to be a professional basketball, soccer, hockey, football. Um, and I'm also going to be a great mathematician and I'm also going to be you know, I'm also going to work in IT and learn coding. It's like, if you spread yourself out of, onto so many disciplines, then you just get nowhere with any of them. And that's what was happening. And I was like, so that's when I transitioned into thinking, okay, I'll, I'll pay other people to do all that stuff, which is what people do mostly. You only have one or two specialties in filmmaking, like writer, director, or actor. You can be three, like actor, director, writer, but I'm not, I'm not an actor. Or, you know, become a cinematographer, become a production designer, you know, sound, do sound, um, I don't know anything about sound. Um, but, yeah, I realised, okay, I, I understand how this, what this vision is. I can, well, I guess we'll see. I can communicate that to other people. I look burnt. I'm burnt. No, no, doesn't really matter. Um, 
I can communicate that vision to other people and then they and then you know you get the power from all of them and then you have the one person who spent 5,000 hours studying cameras doing a camera work and another person 5,000 hours yeah okay so that's that's my main goal now so I've got a very specific vision of the video I want to make I've and so last three or four, no two days I I've just been really working on that. The problems that have arisen is, so essentially the story is this uh, town doesn't have any rain. And so this rain dancer goes out and dances for rain and essentially dances until he's almost dead. And that's where the video starts. And he's out of hope and everything. And essentially he sees like a tiny cloud and then um, starts sort of battling with the cloud with his dancing to bring rain back to the village um, and that's so basically what we've been studying is you know there's in the past there's like a lot of tribes had shamans or medicine men or um, magicians or whatever and so I, I've been because I, I don't want it to just be I want there to be like the deep mythological um, base underneath it and I want the knowledge of all that so <coughs> I was re reading a book by Mercia Eliad about shamanism's archaic techniques of ecstasy and that was really interesting but none of them talked about none of it really I haven't read it all yet. I want to. Um, but none of it was talking about um, rain dancing. And so I was like... So instead I've been trying to look up Native American things. Wikipedia hasn't given me much. I found some... Well, that's because I searched up... Um, rain dancing on Wikipedia doesn't have much you can find. And there's this book about like... Rain dancing. Um, I, it was from the 1930s, and I couldn't find a print of it. I think there was a print. It was like $220 or something. And I went to the library. This was ages ago. Um, to look for it, I couldn't find it. Uh, but I've sort of tried to broaden it and just look at um, Native American, you know, history and culture. And that is just like so. It, what I didn't explain with the shamanism is like you look at shamanism it's like you know he, he lists off 50 different cultures you have no idea about and like oh this culture did this and this culture did this and like from like he, it's most popular in cent central and northern Asia or Siberia it's North Asia and like I know nothing about these cultures and there's like so many of them so I don't know which one to research or where to start and then the same thing with the Native Americans. You like you look up Native American tribes, and there's like a hundred different tribes, and all with their different histories and stuff. But I found what what's been good is I found a few people on like they do TEDx talks and stuff um, of Native Americans who talk about their culture, and and it's um, it's really interesting. Like, what their costumes mean, not costumes, clothes mean, because they're not costumes. Or the, 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 they have all those dangling things, and, like, she was talking about it was really cool. Like, they, like, symbolize different parts of their, like, people they, like, their family. Like, each of those strands symbolizes, like, their fa different family members, and then their ancestors, and then, you know, the spirits or the gods or, like, whatever and so like it's sort of like you're wearing this jacket that like represents the totality of what made you um and when you dance and when you move they move with you and it's sort of like this idea that like that because you think about it like your answer like there's like a lot of mythologies have like um the calling back on the ancestors learning from the ancestors and if you think about like um you know, our whole society is built off billions of upon billions of dead people who wear the 
life or like how do I explain it of successful people who are able to produce reproduce and promote life that's not a good way of putting it um, but it's yeah it's hard to, I need to learn how to explain this idea of phenomenon um, but it's just cool like having like you're dancing but you're like sort of embedded within this like culture um, it sort of reminds me of the equilibrated state that John Peterson talks about which is is it John Piaget which came up with that or the other guy I always get those two mixed up John Piaget and the other dude who's bought Carl Rogers one of them came up with that where he says I'm not going to explain it so look it up yourself anyway that's that was a really cool idea and I really like that to be part of the costume and I, I want to learn more about it and essentially um, COVID might be because uh, I want to travel and I actually want to talk to the actual Native Americans or people like that um, but essentially since the COVID um, restrictions are ending we're at zero cases hopefully that stays assuming it does if it doesn't then I'll just go back to researching there's a lot to research so I'll get to do that um, and this video may take years to make I don't know um I might not even happen, you know, you gotta just go with the flow. But I tested out sleeping in my car. Um, I put these these down and I put a mattress, a tiny mattress and just a sleeping bag and pillow and I slept fine. Um, not fine actually, because I, I woke up and I was like, like I slept through the whole night, but I think there's something about... um. I don't know, I had this somewhere, I'm not an expert or anything, about, like, if you're sleeping in a new place, your, like, body is, like, a bit more on edge or more aware, so you don't get, like, that proper deep sleep. I felt like that a little bit, um, but, I don't know, I felt good enough. So, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, there's a... That's where the freaking web's coming from. There's a spider, and it's... There's always this web that appears just here. Um, anyway... And so I'm going to hopefully just go traveling maybe down the Great Ocean Road, test what traveling in a car and sleeping in a car is like, which is something I really want to do. And just practice traveling and traveling by myself and and doing small things like that. Um, one is because I want to see if I can live out of a car because then I'll save a lot on rent. Um, and the other is... I'm also thinking of selling this car, so it might go either way. And the other is if I want to travel, I want to... I, I want to learn... I've been watching this guy called Vagrant Holiday, where essentially he travels Europe and he stays there like 42 days, goes to like all like the major beautiful cities and like lives out of a, a bivy, which is like... And a, and a sleeping bag. And a bivy is like... It's, it's like bigger, a bit bigger than a sleeping bag and goes over you and it like protects you from water and rain. Um, and then he puts a sleeping bag inside that. And essentially he can sleep in like, like you see this little green patch here. He can, he can just, essentially it takes up as much space as you are lying down. Um, so it's not as big as a tent or anything. And so he just like, finds <laughs> he just goes to a country just finds a little patch of grass that's like behind some bushes in like a local park or something and just sleeps there doesn't get caught and he's like a very um crazy dude he, he's hilarious as well he's probably like he's in the top 10 of like the best youtube channels i've ever seen and he's like i only found him like four days ago anyway I'm thinking if I travel like that, I could travel very cheaply. I'm not sure if I can yet, but, you know, a thousand days for, f a thousand, is like a thousand dollars fifty, including flights, um, to travel like all around Europe for like 46 days or something, 42 days. I mean, that's so cheap. And so if I could do that, I'd be more than happy. Um, we could travel the world and, you know, travel, meet, go to different cultures and travel with a purpose not just like oh traveling is fun 
travel, like learn about, um, you know, because I want to make this video about a shaman or or a rain dancer, like going to those communities, talking to them, learning more about their culture. I found a few, like you know, there's Native Americans. I'm going to email them and talk about and just ask them questions. Not this is a long way off, maybe a year or two, because COVID's pretty bad, especially in America. You know, go to Mexico. Uh, they have shamanic initiations. You know, Central and North Asia. You know, and I want to learn. I, 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 there's so much I want to learn about comparative mythology and religion. And yeah, I just want to do this to break up the monotony of the same day every day. I want to like, I want to travel um, a lot. Um, and so I'll see how that goes. And so I'm just going to start small, travel different areas around Australia and just see where that gets me. Um, just so I can practice. And I'm also wanting to check out an Orthodox church after everything opens. Um, yeah, I wanted, I'm, just, I'm learning about the different denominations of Christianity. I really like the idea of, um, I really like how they designed the churches and the Orthodox and with the icons and everything. And I've been listening to Jonathan Peugeot, who talks about, he's an Orthodox Christian and he does icon carving and it's like really cool how he talks about symbolism and mythology and religion. So there's that I want to do, which would be really fun. And... Yeah, there's a yeah, there's just tons I want to do, <laughs> and I'll be able to start on some of them, and I gotta be patient, you know. But that's basically the main thing. Main goal is making this music video, so there's a lot of research that's gonna go into that, and I'm just gonna pl I'm gonna plan every little detail out to like the finest degree of what I can, and then I might hire people, like my hire historian to help me out, and my hire a scriptwriter to just make the script clean. I might hire a, you know, I might talk to the people that make, I'll try and find people that make the costumes and see what a costume is. Maybe I'll learn about the tribes and how the tribes operate so I can get better production design. Because I'm thinking like, you know, it could have like, and like learn all the symbolism of the costumes and maybe there'll be like a sort of mandala circular pattern like where the guy dances in and that could be incorporated in somehow. It's just like... There's a ton I can do with it, and it's really exciting to just have something I can sink my teeth into. And so that's how I do, and that's that's my life at the moment. Um, yeah, the reason I made this video is because I just I was looking through some old pictures. Um, I was I was looking at my dog because he died uh, a few months ago, and but I just like got caught up like looking up all the all these old pictures, and yeah, I was like. Damn, like, you don't realize how much you change until you, like, look at all. And so I'm thinking, you know, I might want to make some more videos. So I look back on this video and, like, I haven't watched any of these videos. I watched one, I think. Um, 